Hi, this is Jeff Greenberg, and we're going to go ahead and talk about watch folders. And I just want to kind of do a follow-up here of the chapter. We talked in Chapter 4 about the idea that you can use compressed audio like MP3s and AAC. That would be a compressed uh, MP4 file. But to be honest, I pretty much don't like any of my audio compressed. I just don't believe in wasting my computer CPU cycles on it. So I'm going to show you how to use here. We're, I've already opened up Adobe Media Encoder. I'm going to show you how to use Media Encoder to turn around and just convert files automatically. And you could even leave this running all the time or running on a separate machine, watching certain folders. With Media Encoder open, I want you to see that I've got four panes here. I've got my queue. When you send stuff from Premiere Pro, it shows up here. I have encoding in the bottom left. This is while it actually encodes, things show up here. And what I'm really looking for is my presets in the top right and my watch folders in the bottom right. On my desktop, I'd like you to also see I've set up two special folders. One which is Watch Me For Audio, and the second is I'm Converted. And that's where we're going to get our converted files. I'm going to go ahead and pick a folder to start up with, and I'm going to say plus, and I'll pick here the Watch Me For Audio folder, because that's what I wanted to pay attention to. It's got the wrong preset. That's not an issue. I'm going to go to the top of the preset browser. On Macintoshes, I tend to pick AIFF files. I've just typed in AI, and you can see it's found that one preset for me. On a PC, I tend to find WAV files. I, I tend to default to these, but to be honest, it really doesn't make a difference in either OS. I'll go ahead here, and I'll take the AIFF, and I'm just going to drag it down here. And I'm just going to replace that one choice there. So we're going to build an AIFF. We're going to be watching that folder. We're going to be building a 48K one. And then the question is, is where do we want to send it? I'm going to click here and I'm going to point out my converted folder. And I'm going to say choose. You can see up top it says I'm converted. And I'll say choose. Now, with this being set up, the moment I go ahead and drop media into the watch me folder, Adobe Media Encoder will start its encode. So I'm just going to take all of this music, drag it into Watch Me. Boom. Premiere Pro sensed it, starts converting it one after the other. And you can already see it's finished the first one. It's now working on the second file as it work its, works its way through. I want to open up the Watch Me folder because I want you to see what's happened to my, my, my pieces, my, the items it's watching. As they get converted, they move into an output folder from the source folder. So the source, this is what's going on today, each one, one at a time, an output. Well, there is no output folder here. If I didn't specify a different folder, this is where they would end up as output. So a little unfortunate, they're going to end up in all sorts of individual files. Meanwhile, over in my converted folder, when I open this up, you can see it's already converted these. In fact, this is almost finished. And if I have Media Encoder running all the time, just anytime I drop stuff into the Watch Me For Audio, it's automatically going to get converted. It's a really cool way to get your stuff out of a compressed audio format into an uncompressed audio format to get the best performance out of Premiere Pro.